Hello, Lamb of God family. John here, and uh, I was talking with Dad the other day, and he said I might, uh, he invited me to share um, some devotional thoughts with you or some thoughts uh, of encouragement during this time where uh, this, this unprecedented time of this crisis where we're separated, but we can connect on these kind of ways um, over, over the internet. And so, yeah, I wanted to just share a couple of scriptures that uh, I've been uh, challenged by lately and really looking for the places of application for in, uh, in our family life, in my personal life, and ministry. Um, and uh, so I wanted to just share those with you and hopefully uh, offer them to you as a place of reflection as well. So the first one actually comes out of Song of Songs. Two, which I know this is kind of a scary book. A lot of times I don't want to read this. It's kind of some risque stuff, but it's meant to also picture, obviously, uh, our relationship with the Lord. So Song of Songs 2 and particularly verse 10. Um, and it says this. It's a very simple, interesting expression. Uh, the version I'm reading up here, I think it's the ESV, uh, probably. Yeah, it is ESV. But it says this. Um, My lover said to me, Rise up, my darling. Come away with me, my fair one. So that's a very abbreviated, obviously, just one verse. Um, there's a lot more around it you could read, you know, uh, and I encourage you to do so. But I think that um, I have been reflecting on this verse much uh, during this time. And the question that I feel settling in my heart as I, as I reflect on it is this. Where are God's invitations to me? To come away with him. I'll just say that again. Where are the invitations that God is making towards me to come away with him? And uh, and so these, you know, it could be many different places. Uh, it could be maybe you feel a prompting in your heart where, where God's saying, Hey, take a little extra time um, in the morning and just dedicate it to me. You know, before uh, the busyness of paying bills and uh, different other communication or, you know, suiting up to go to the store or whatever thing can, can come and kind of uh, eclipse those first moments. Maybe it's taking time to, to just connect with the Lord and, and quiet your heart before Him. Or maybe it's, um, maybe it's an invitation that you've sensed from Him to, uh, to come away with Him, but also towards someone else. Maybe there's a neighbor that you are aware, oh, that, that person is actually living with increased you know, isolation in this circumstance, and uh, and you you can feel the pulse of God's heart saying, "I want to break into that," and and you're meant to be the hands and feet for that. Um, so again, the question is, uh, where are God's? And I'll I'll put it to you, where are God's invitations to you uh, to come away with Him? So, and then uh, um, second question that fits with that is this: How will you respond to the invitation? Right. Um, so that's uh, probably equally significant, is how will, how will I respond to that invitation? Uh, will I say yes and, uh, and meet him there or come away with him in the ways that he's inviting me to? So I encourage you to do that. That's definitely um, where I am challenged right now and where I'm encouraged. I feel the encouragement of the Lord to just come away with him at different points and... Uh, and realize things. Sometimes it's even in moments, you know, with the kids. And I'm, it's just as though I need to put on the brakes, you know. And uh, kind of the the reflexes, you know. Kind of uh, the, the actions that I would take that are normal and um, kind of set my way of doing things. God's inviting me. No, hey, come away with me, John. Take a minute. Let's think about this. Why don't we try this pathway in dealing with this scenario? Um, so, yeah, I just want to offer that to you guys. Um, and I'll, I'll leave you with one other scripture here before I go. Dad said I think I could take about four to six minutes on this. I hope that's right, Dad. If not, you can edit me. <laughs> and that's fine, too. Um, if you get this edited, then we'll just do a sequel at some point. Uh, the, the second uh, scripture that, and, and these are kind of congruent, but um, that I've felt the Lord just challenging me with lately is uh, first, it's coming out of 1 Kings 19. Um, and it's the story of Elijah, 1 Kings 19, verse 11. This is a, probably a familiar section to you. 
Um, but there, I'll just read it. It says, Go out and stand before me on the mountain. And the Lord told him. And as Elijah stood there, the Lord passed by, and a mighty windstorm hit the mountain. It was such a terrible blast that the rocks actually were torn loose. But interestingly, the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake, there was fire, but the Lord wasn't in the fire. And after the fire, there was the sound of a gentle whisper. And uh, when Elijah heard it, he wrapped his face in his cloak and went out and stood at the entrance of the cave. And the voice said, what are you doing here, Elijah? So um, in this, I think the, the question, and it's a bit in keeping with kind of thematically this um, place of invitation, but uh, I've been just saying, okay, Lord, where are your whispers towards me, right? Uh, where is God meeting me? You could ask this question. I'll, I'll put it to you. Where is God meeting you with a whisper? <laughs> and what would he have you to hear? Um, so, yeah, paying attention to those small uh, whispers that he puts in our hearts and that he uh, places uh, before us. And uh, as his people, we want to be those who would say yes and who would hear those, obviously, and... Uh, and be available to him in those moments. So, so great to be able to share with you, our, our Lamb of God family, and we love you guys. Uh, we're grateful for you, and we, uh, we just leave those thoughts with you about where are the invitations of God to come away with him, and where uh, are you hearing those gentle whispers, and how will you respond to those invitations. Love you guys. All right, bye-bye.